you might think the logical thing to do to import an image into Flash would be go to insert an image, but it isn't. You have to go to file and import to stage. Then find an image that you want to import. Let's go for our camera image for the moment and import it. Now it'll give you all kind of options here but the best one for the moment is simple flat bitmap image. So it'll bring in our camera as a bitmap image. It'll ask me whether I want it in the library which I've already got it in the library so I'll say OK and there we have our bitmap image. Now what we really want to do is turn it into a vector image which is smaller in file size and easier for Flash to deal with. So if you go to modify bitmap and trace bitmap it'll give us some options. These settings are reasonably high with many corners and pixels so we should get a pretty good image. We'll keep those options for the moment. There. Now as you can see we've got a vector image now which means it's split up into different sections just as if we would created it using a paint package and we can take whatever sections of what we want that are of the same colour we can delete those and manipulate our image to get it to exactly what we want. We could take out this microphone if we wished, take it out bit by bit and then delete the sections we don't want just highlight it or and press delete key and we can do some tidying up around it take out this shadow and delete it notice it leaves the stroke behind we'll get rid of that in a moment and then just generally tidy it up until we get it to roughly what we want it to be we could then put that onto a transparent background and put it into any document we wished as you can see a bit more tidying up there and we're left with just more or less the camera box now what we also need to do is to make sure we've saved this image in our library so that we can use it again um, you saw when I imported it that I'd already done that once but just to check whether that's so let's reveal the panels on the right the library panel isn't there so go to window and library and we can see that it has in fact got my original under copy of the original saved in the library there. 